Explorers, I'm Trish and I'm joined today by David, who's our Senior Data Analyst, and we're going to talk to you today about the changes that we have done to Alpha 3. So David, tell us what you do here at Radiant Worlds. My job is Senior Data Analyst here at Radiant Worlds, okay. and primarily what I do is I track and monitor user behavior in-game, I then take that feedback and give it to the developers and designers for them to fine-tune core mechanics and gameplay features. Cool. So one of the things you see right off the bat in Alpha 3 is the tutorial and how we've kind of changed it. So can you tell me a little bit about the process behind that and how we've implemented some changes into the feature? So one of the first things that we noticed was that some players were having difficulty getting through the tutorial. So what we've done is we've smoothed the progression path and we've made the objectives more clear. Uh, we've done this by condensing parts of the tutorial, um, by removing some and rewarding objectives. Sounds good. So I'm an adventurer going on an adventure. What can I expect to see in Alpha 3? One of the things we had, we had to do with the adventures was to add more purpose to it. Mm. So for recipes, for example, what we've had to do is we've added more ingredients that people can search for more deliberately, as opposed to what they currently have to do, which is right now is more of a smash and grab, where they just mm. go and collect everything they can find. With the new system, they can identify which ingredients they want to, go, want, want to get from an adventure and go out there and get them. Okay, well personally, I'm not an adventurer. I probably go and mine something, I probably build something, maybe not so much build, but mine it. Uh, what can I expect to see in Alpha 3? So a great many of our players are builders and architects mm -hmm. and for those players and for those players they'll, um, they'll notice this you know for the extra customization options mm -hmm. and the reason we did that is because we noticed in the data that a large number of players were looking to collect uh, the redstones and primary colors so with that feedback we've now added extra customization options to allow for greater self-expression on their home islands. More colors. Yes, more colors. Okay. A veritable rainbow of colors. Good, awesome. Okay, so let's go into the challenges. So, um, one of the things I've noticed is that we've changed up how we do the challenges in the game. So can you kind of tell me the process behind that and how we're implementing that into Alpha 3? One of the things we were noticing was that a large number of players were having difficulty getting the ingredients they wanted. And we're following a smash and grab strategy where they smashed and collected everything they could find. Mm -hmm. So what we've changed is we've added greater purpose into the adventures themselves to allow for more rewarding loot. So let's get into the nitty gritty of it. PvP has been obviously a main feature that we're focusing on in Alpha 3. Can you kind of tell me a little bit about the combat in Alpha 3? So making its first appearance in Alpha 3 is the fundamental model of PvP combat. Mm -hmm. And what we're looking to gather data from for this is how players are playing PvP and combat in general and which weapons are selecting. And the weapon selection is important here because each weapon has its own separate characteristics mm. that complement certain players' playstyles. And we'll be looking very keenly at which weapons certain players pick and which ones are the most effective uh, for various different scenarios. Uh, so for the, balancing and stuff like that. Balancing, uh, for popularity, which ones, which weapons maybe people aren't selecting. If they aren't selecting a weapon, that's important for us to iterate on and sort of improve so that players do feel compelled to use it more. Well, that pretty much covers it for today. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me, David, and I hope to talk to you guys soon. Bye! Bye.